This workflow will cover BaseMap model in OpenDTX Pro. It allows to populate inline, crossline, Z slice, random line, wells to the 3D scene. It allows as well to perform breeding, contouring, and creating a final uh, maps. We can open the base map from the icon here or from the menu view base map. First thing is to ensure that the synchronization is on with the 3D scene to be able to populate all the data. So we are going to add an inline to the 3D scene. This is done in different ways. First one is to type I from the keyboard. So an inline is added to the base map and to the 3D scene. We can reposition using the 3D scene just by moving the lines using the left mouse button click and keep it pressed. The inline number is showing in the tree and in the lower left corner. We can add inline as well from uh, the base map with the right mouse click and add inline. And you can see that it was added in the 3D scene. Another way as well is from the right mouse click in the inline in the tree and add. So now we have three inline added in different ways. We can uh, change the position of the inline by hovering over the inline till it's becoming bold. Then we move the inline to the new position. We can add the cross line with the right mouse uh, button and add cross line or directly from the menu here, the tree, with the right mouse and add. We can add random line by pressing R, then digitize the corner for the and double click to end the random line. As the base map is synchronized with the 3D scene, you can use as well the 3D scene to reposition any of the line or random line. You can add wells as well to the base map and 3D scene. So we we'll, we'll go to the well folder and create a new group. Right mouse click on the group and add and we will select F O2 and F03 for example and we can change the property for this group if we know that this group for example are OL uh, wells so we can uh, change to OL wells and we can resize to 5 and OK. We can repeat the same thing for another group create a group and we add the three and six well, and we just assume that it's gas well. So we go to the property and just change the well symbol to gas well. We size it, and we can see that we have the other well with different. We can as well add Horizon to the base map display just from 3D Horizon Add. We just select the first one on the list and uh, the uh, displayed Horizon. We can change the color, for example, and put it to the uh, same way as the 3D scene. Put it to, for example, depth. We can add Contours with the right mouse click on the contours add same horizon. We keep all the default and OK. All the base map setting can be changed from the tree here setting under setting. You have general and you have different parameters like the background, 
the uh, outline and other parameters. So we'll just keep the default. Other parameter can be optimized from the left menu here on the icon, like adding a color bar, for example. And there are additional processing option, like filtering, grading, that we can perform under this menu. As you can see here, we can grid the surface and set different algorithm, for example. And same thing, apply filtering. There are different filtering uh, methods available here. This concludes this base map introduction workflow and interaction with the 3D scene.